Okay, breaking news, breaking news. The Montreal Canadiens just made a trade. The Montreal Canadiens just made a trade. Just came out of nowhere. I was about to go showering because uh, I have something at 12, uh, p 12 p.m. Uh, I was about to go um, to go to my soccer game. So, I, yeah, I was about to go wash my hair because it's a little dirty. And then I went on my phone taking a piss. And then I realized, I opened Instagram and I saw Montreal Canadiens. The Canadiens have acquired forward Denise Goryanov from the Dallas Stars in exchange of forward Yevgeny Dadonov. So a Russian for Russian trade uh, that came out of absolutely nowhere. And like I've said multiple times on Twitter, uh, we talked about we talk about all those trades rumors and the trade that's going to happen is probably most likely going to be coming out of nowhere. Just like the Toffoli trade, Lickenden trade, the, the Kirby Doc trade. Can't use loves making those comes out of nowhere type of trades. And uh, yeah, Denis Gurianov is a former first round pick. He got drafted 12th overall in the 2015 NHL entry draft. He was he was good a couple of years back. He was good in 2021-2022, got 31 points in 73 games, which is decent. And in 2020-2021, uh, it was by far his best season. He got 30 and 55. So he definitely has the potential to, to perform at the NHL level. He's big. He's 6'3", 215 pounds. Uh, he's a he's a winger. Um, he shoots right. Uh, he's only 25 years old. And uh, yeah, it's this year so far he has two goals, seven assists, nine points. He was on a bottom uh, on, on a bottom six roll uh, with uh, the Dallas Stars, judging by the fact that they have so many good forwards. So yeah, uh, I we kind of don't know a lot about the trade right now. The only infos we have is that the Canadians acquired Goriana from the Stars. Um, we don't know yet if the Canadians retained uh, some of the. Uh, oh yes. The info just came out. Never mind. The Canadians will retain 50% of Dodonov's salary until the end of their current season. So Habs keep 50% of Dodonov's cap space. They take on Dernis Gurionov's contract for the remainder of the season. So yeah, Dodonov goes to uh, the Dallas Stars. It was unexpected. It was unexpected. I remember Le Renaud Lavoie from TV Paul yesterday said that it was unlikely that Dodonov was going to get traded. And today... Here it comes. So, yeah, like I've said multiple times, the moves always come out of nowhere for the Habs. And like I said, also, I always make videos right away when stuff happens. So if you want to be updated with everything that's going on with the Montreal Canadiens, I strongly suggest you to subscribe. Probably a lot of more trades are going to come over the next couple of days. So if you want to be um, notified when it happens, I strongly suggest you to turn on post notifications and subscribe. Also, let's try and get 100 likes on this video for this trade. Amazing trade, honestly by uh, Cantus. And uh, yeah, Denis Gurionov has a $2.9 million cap hit and uh, his contract finishes at the end of the year. He's going to be a, restrict a restricted free agent. So uh, yeah, if the Canadians want to qualify and try to re-sign him um, for a year or two or three, uh, depending on how he will perform uh, for the remainder of the season for the Habs, it strongly is a good possibility because this guy can play hockey. He has a lot of skills and natural talent. He's a former first-round pick. So getting a new start with the Habs here, maybe playing with Suzuki, maybe playing with Kirby Doc when he will come back is certainly going to help him a lot and like I said he got some pretty decent statistics in some seasons with the with the Dallas Stars a couple of years back he has 103 points in 247 games the guy is capable of performing at the NHL level and when the Dallas Stars went to the Stanley Cup final he was a big part of it getting 17 and 27 in that playoff run so that guy can play hockey and turning Dodonov into a Denis Gore of reminds me a lot of the Jeff Petrie situation. He turned Jeff Petrie into Mike Matheson. Now he turns Dodonov into Gorianov, and it could be a decent big W for the Montreal Canadiens. And a really, really big news this morning. Um, really, really good trade. And since he's going to be an RFA, I thought he was going to be UFA, but RFA is pretty good. The Canadians can resign him, and uh, yeah, they could flip him for some uh, some better value if he performs well in a couple of years. So yeah, decent value trade for Kent Hughes to turn out that. Enough. So they basically turned out Shea Weber, who is a retired contract that was just heavy on the LTIR, and to Denis Gorianov, who's a former first round pick, 12th overall. So Can't Use is playing chess with people playing checkers. It's really, really decent. It's really, really decent. I'm really happy with that. And I'm really excited to see how Gorianov will perform with the Habs if he stays. Um, long term or just this season so yeah let me know what you guys want to think about this right in the comments below are you guys happy 
Are you guys happy? I did not expect that. I'm finally happy that the uh, Dodonov isn't here anymore. Um, I had nothing really against the guy, but he was kind of annoying to watch sometimes, like making ma making it seem like he didn't really care. I wish him the best of luck in Dallas. Go get that cup, Yevgeny. If he wins the cup, I'll be happy for him. And uh, yeah, really, really good acquisition by Can't Use, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy for that. Can't wait to see if there's more to come. And Munson is expected to make a comeback in the next couple of games. If he's able to play one or two before the trade deadline, he might get some interest back from other teams. It's going to be really, really interesting to see. But yeah, good start so far for Cantus in this year's trade deadline. It's been your boy Tropical Habs. Have a nice rest of your day. And I'll see you later for another video. Bye-bye.